everybody doing? I hope you're having a wonderful day. I know I am getting ready to go on a new experience in fishing. Today we're going to be fishing for tog here in South Jersey, but we're doing it in a kayak. That's right, in a Hobie kayak, up close and personal, what I call hand-to-hand -hand combat tog fishing. I'm going to be fishing with an expert uh, on this topic, Charles, and uh, about to pull up now. Wish me luck, it's cold, but I'm ready to catch some tug. Come on, let's tug. What's up? How you doing? Did we finally, finally. Yeah, yeah what's up? All right, so so Charles, this is the basic setup you're using to catch these tugs. Yeah, yep. and, and this is a bottom sweeper jig, short shank, almost like a diamond, sort of like an archie head. Yeah, just go in one leg hole, not another with a chunk. In so, the leg holes. Yep. Yeah, in the leg hole. So that hook's you're, kind of you're leaving the hook kind of. Uh, yeah, always. It's I'll not bury, exposed. Bury the hook. You don't know, tug and get in there and they'll chew on it. Bury the hook. Yeah, they'll, okay. they'll destroy that crab in a second. Gotcha. Yeah, okay. They'll, they'll turn it to mush in a second. Yeah. And these are are these green crabs, these white are green crabs? crabs, green crabs. Yeah. So if I was doing a whole crab on a jig head, I'll show you that. If I was doing a whole crab on a jig head. I would actually just go right into one of the back leg holes. Just like that. Gotcha. So okay. That, try to leave that hook point in there. Yeah, a little bit very. Yep. Yep. That's to help it from keeping get snagged and all the all the junk yep. and all that. Okay. Yeah, and a lot of guys think that the, the tog, once they feel that hook point, they're done. Right. They're they're too slow to get a hold of you right now. We've got the uh, Revo Ike combo here. I'm using the seven foot medium heavy. It's got a little tip on it. I've got, uh, I think I've got 30 pound braid on this one with 20 pound fluorocarbon leader. All right, hopefully we'll be going down. Hopefully. Yeah, I like it. like a bass. 100% no, right? I got it. God, I was hoping that was a tug. Ah! 
<laughs> crazy looking fish. Look at him. Man, this looks prehistoric. Crazy. Wow. Well, is that bad or good? Do they mix in together? Or? Yeah, I mean, the nibs you were getting were definitely tied. Because that thing would just eat whatever it is.
that's a good nap. That's about the best one I've ever caught. Uh, maybe about the same size. Two pounds. Might be a hair Hobie with Charles. Man, I learned so much today about tog fishing. This is up close and personal, uh, hand to hand combat tog fishing. We ended up with a couple good ones. Show you right here. Look at these things. Couple dandies, couple overs, and they got to be 15 to keep. And these are 16, 17, 18 inch fish. Uh, Charles is going to slice them up for me here. And we're going to have a little. I don't know, a tog sandwich? What'd you say was good? Tog everything, right? Tog tacos. Tog taco? Yeah. General Sal's ta uh, tacos? Yeah. General Sal's tog? Chicken parm tog? Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Hell yeah. Hills to the year. All right, there you have it. Uh, all wrapped up. Charles filleted them things for me. And guess what? They're going in my belly. Um, dude, once again, yeah, thank you, awesome. man. Awesome. Been great learning yeah. experience. I learned so blast. much. Make me a promise. We talked about some other South Jersey, Jersey Shore opportunities. Yeah, Will you go with me again? Absolutely, absolutely. Maybe a little striper? Yeah. Maybe a little flounder? Yeah, some weakies. Some weak fish? Yeah. All right, there you have it. Uh, great episode of Go and Ike, filmed locally, Jersey Shore. Keep your eye out for more. Me and Charles coming up hopefully this summer. We'll get some great stuff for you. See you later. Bye.